Well, Ian, we spoke after Saturday. Obviously, it was a tough one to take. Has it, has it been a productive and good week since then? Yep, yep. The, the boys have been magnificent. Um, we had a good talk and went through the game, uh, analysed it. Uh, and now it's, it's all eyes on Bromley. So uh, another really difficult game. Big, strong, experienced side. And um, we look forward to the challenge. When you have an experience like Saturday, do you have a chat immediately after the game and then on the, the Monday as well? No, because a lot of things are raw. Uh, so I'd rather give it 24 hours, um, digest what happened, go through, look at it myself, I looked at it twice. I thought it was excellent first half, really did. We really gave him a good game. And then uh, uh, we've gone through a lot of things, our distances become... At, and the thing is with uh, younger players is when they go behind, they start to chase. And you can't do that because your lines can become open, uh, you become spread, and the distances between each unit becomes big. And uh, we, we looked at that and, and, and analysed every goal that we conceded, even though it was individually, um, uh, all our shape was all over the place. And you need to have calm heads in them situations, you really do. You need to say, right, OK, let's this, this this start again off a solid, solid base and structure and get ourselves back into the game. Um, and even at 2-1, we had a couple of good chances second half that if we did, if we'd have took them, uh, but then it was like a domino effect after the first mistake and it, it, it spread quite rapidly. Do you think there's an element of panic comes in you know, when they get into that situation? They made a mistake and then can't get over it? Well, it's, it's, it's uh, um, not having that experience on there where people will just say, calm down, calm down. Well, we've had recently or before We've had that type of player here, but this year we haven't. It's, it's, uh, it's a young side and they can get caught up in the game sometimes. They need to be told, no, this, this guy off a solid base, we're doing nothing wrong here, we're in the game. Let's not go chasing yet. So uh, um, it's something that we've talked about, they recognise as well. We've worked on as much as you can in training um, and now we're, uh, we're all set for Bromley. Because you talk about the age, and it is incredibly young when you look at it, isn't it? I mean, they pl yes, they've got many years under their belts, but uh, as you say, when you compare it to last year, the likes of Ryan Jarvis, etc., it's, it's nothing like that now. No, no, it's a totally different, different team, and we've gone young because of situations and what dictates at the football club. But uh, it's, uh, uh, I have great faith in this bunch. They really are. They, they, they give everything they can every single day. And uh, they're a really good group. They're receptive of, of the ideas and, and the way we want to play. Uh, they will get better as, as time goes on. Um, and they know at the moment that mistakes are killing us. So it's, it's, it's something like that. But I brought them into the football club. I, I have 100% 100, 100 faith in, in, in what they've, they've become and are. It's getting that 90 minutes, isn't it? Because so often in games we see either a good first half or a second half. It, it's, it's just getting a full one out of them. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's with... In your good periods, you need to score goals. And at the moment, we're, we're, we're still struggling that end uh, at the moment. Um, and that's all the team. That's just not forwards. That's, that's throughout the team. Uh, but in, in your really good uh, periods of games, you have to score. And when, them go, when they go and you have to dig in and you concede, you can see a little bit of belief. Leave them. Uh, and that's... that's Acceptable, well, not acceptable, but it's understandable at the, at the situation we're in at the moment. So uh, it's trying to get over that and reinforce the good parts of it and to keep focus and not to chase, keep, keep within your shape and build yourself back into the team again, uh, in, into the game. And the issue with goals, I guess you're on the lookout for, for, for additions if possible, but it's very difficult, isn't it, to get people in? Yeah, we've been on the lookout for a long, long time, but nothing's materialised. We have got a new face. We, we spoke to him. Uh, Arthur's come in uh, and he's keen to get going and, and he knows the, the, the challenge ahead, but he, he sounds though like he's one who really relishes that sort of thing. Yes, yeah, he's a young boy again that's, that's coming into the squad and uh, uh, will give us good competition. We're quite loaded in them positions, but um, I think it's quite, a, a, uh, quite relevant, that, um, not relevant, but quite obvious that the areas we need to... Uh, we're looking at to do, but um, no, he's a, he's a good young kid uh, and he'd be a, a very important addition to the squad. And just on the injury situation, which just keeps occurring, doesn't it? What's the, the position with the, the two, obviously Kyle and, and Pierce on, on Saturday? Uh, Pierce is trained, so we'll, we'll hopefully he'll come through. Um, 
Uh, Maka didn't train, hasn't trained yet, but we'll look at him tomorrow. We're leaving him to, as long as possible. Obviously, Dents is still out. Uh, um, Barris has picked up a knock in training, uh, so he's, he's going to see how that is tomorrow as well. But everything else, I think, is all right. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I'm, I, I've rolled off five there. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? I mean, you must wonder when it's going to come to an end. But I guess when you are struggling, this sort of thing happens. You didn't get no luck whatsoever. And you're at the bottom end, been there before. Um, everyone just needs to stick together and battle through it. You know, you, we had a talk on Saturday, that, um, up on Monday, when we, when we come back in. You've got to stand up and be counted now. It's no good feeling sorry for yourself. We're in a position now that. We can't stay in it for much longer. We need to turn everything around and um, the consequences will be there if we don't. So it's, 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 we all know the position we're in and now we've just got to fight tooth and now to get out of it. And, and two tough away games coming up and obviously first up you, you mentioned Bromley. And yes. Don't get any easier. <laughs> no, these are probably the two of the hardest ones you could have had. I, looked at, I watched Stockport last night. I thought they were absolutely magnificent. They really did. And then funny enough, um, I watched the game Bromley and, and Stockport and two massive... Vastly experienced, been together for a long, long time, know how to play the game, uh, know the, uh, the way to do it as well, um, you know, the streetwise and what they do. Two really hard games. Unbeaten since September, I think, aren't they? In the league, certainly. Brom, 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 Brom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, uh, you can see why. Good side. I've been together a, little, a while as well. New managers gone in, had, had a real big effect on them. Uh, as both of these two uh, two have coming up, so it's uh, no. We we we're, we know the, the the task in front of us, um, and um, but the boys have worked really hard this week. They really are. They're, they're very focused, and now we just got to go out and um, put on your performance. And it's looking for turn the tables, and just that one result, isn't it? That could well propel you forward. Yeah, well, we need a little bit of luck. I know you don't get it down there. Uh, you've got to earn everything you get. Uh, but we're not going to shy away from it. It's, it's, it's no good running and hiding behind the sofa. We stand up and be counted. Let's go for it. Come on. Um, we're in this position. We were the ones that put ourselves in the position. We're the only ones that get us out of it. Is it, is it one of the toughest spells you've experienced as a coach? Oh, yeah, massively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, personally, I feel, feel very sad for the players because I, I, they're a good bunch. They really are a really, really good bunch. And uh, they're a pleasure to work with. They're really receptive, like I said before, receptive to any ideas you throw at them and they take it on board. They're very close. They've got together very, very, very quickly. Um, and I feel sorry for them because I know the work they're trying to put in. And uh, I really do hope they can turn it around or we can turn it around, you know, because they deserve, they deserve all the breaks they can get. Yeah, just have a little bit of good luck. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And you've got to earn it at this end. Has there been any thought in your mind, because you talked about that experience, uh, of, of bringing someone in? I, I, and I know the finances are, are, are difficult, but you've got a lot of young lads. Yeah. Has there been the thought in your mind about moving the economy, economics of it and getting an old head in? Or I don't know, you have to talk to someone else on that one. <laughs> okay. but, but, but if you could, would you do that? Well, it's an experienced league. We, we saw it last year, and the remit was during the summer. There was, this is a man's league. You know, we, we, we need to have experience in here and that. But it just hasn't happened for one reason or another. Uh, it hasn't happened. And this, we find ourselves in a position now that we really need to stand up. You know, these young boys really need now to go, right, OK. Myself as well, I, I said on Saturday that I've let them down in, in the way I've been doing it. Um, so I've looked at myself as well uh, and asked questions and... Uh, We've, we've had some hard truths along the way and um, now it's the time to write this go, come on. I know it's an easy thing to sit here and, and do what a lot of fans said, oh, I should have kept Jarvis, should have kept married, should have kept Gat. Obviously, they get older, they, yeah. the, the football changes. Do you regret that maybe one of them wasn't in the team now? Uh, no, not but, really. Not really because it's moved on. You know, we've, we, we decided to go full time and they, the work commitments couldn't commit. And... Uh, it's, it's, so it's, that's the situation we found ourselves in. And then it was about recruiting uh, what we needed at the football club. And this is the road we've gone down. Recruitment, not managed to say, is the hardest part of it, even harder than putting a team out. Because yeah. 
you put the team out when you've seen them, but when you recruit an exciting, you really don't know what you're going to get. No, here. no, and it's it's about the environment they're coming into. We try and make it as as, as good as they can um, because there's been many assignments that haven't worked. You, you can go through the whole pyramid and. and Bundles and bundles of money has been paid on certain individuals that just haven't they've moved to a new club and hasn't worked, mm. uh, and that's the environment that they move into. So we're uh, we're very aware of setting the right environment where they can flourish because this is what we're all about. I mean, I think since I've been here, we've we've sold men, numerous players back into the system, you know, and they've flourished within it and. Uh, and that's all we can, like I've always said, that oh, we haven't got a lot here. All we can offer them is a platform to go and play and let them show their abilities and show off their, you know, their abilities. So it's, uh, it's been hard, it's been hard, but um, like I said, I've got real good faith in what we've got here. I was going to say, you did say when you were talking to Nick that, that you, you do have a feeling that says we'll be all right. I mean, I'm not suggesting you're, you're going to yeah. get into Europe, but, no, no, you know, no, no, no. but, but that it will come good. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I think if we can get, we need help. We need help. We, it's, I mean, we ain't obviously, we can see what we're short of. Mm. And um, uh, so we, we need help in them areas. It's, it's massively important. And getting help in that areas will give everyone a lift because then all of a sudden we, we know we've lost one um, that we, we recruited hard for in the summer. So he's, he's gone out the building now and we need someone to come in, possibly two to come in to give us a little bit of, because uh, we're, we're, we're very light on squad numbers, you know. So will the stars have to align you, the finances, the personnel, the, the, the right yeah. personnel? I'm sure there's, there's a, a few stars that have to in line. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but a lot more that makes it a simple task. Yes, yeah. You know? Well, the, they got to they gotta come here, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's hard to attract them. It's hard. It's very hard to attract them. They, you know, they've got to, they've got to come all in. You know, you know, they've got to move up to the area. They've got to find accommodation. There's a lot of a lot of boxes to be ticked. Like you, like you say, a lot of stars to align to get the to get that person to commit wholeheartedly into the into the project. I want to ask you about a uh, Norwich City related subject first. So I'll let Greg go on. You might guess what it is. Yeah. Um, go back to the striking issue. Have you draw, Did you draw up a list? I mean, have you drawn up a list of people you you'd like to see here? Yes. Yeah. There's lists have been have gone in. Yes. And are you any closer, or is is it a stumbling block getting somebody up front? No, I've, I've, I've talked to a couple, but it's it's getting the right ones. It's getting the right ones. It's got to fit what we do, and have the right one. It's it's no good. I mean, don't be funny. The position we're in, we've we're getting agents phone every two minutes offering players at the moment because of the position we're in. Um, but we can't take any Tom, Dick and Harry here. It's got to be the right one. I mean, it's, it's, it's got to be the one that fits into what we do and to give us that goal threat because we're missing a goal threat. We really are. Last week after the game, you were very critical of yourself. Yes. Um, you, you said that you may change the way you play. No. Um, no, I, I, I was going to ask you. I was you. never, I never no. changed. No. It's my philosophy and my principle, so it's, um, it's the way we do it and the way I've always done it. And uh, to go against my principles, I, I don't think I could, could do that. Yes, I could ask them to play a little bit higher up, and we've talked about that, and we play in the right areas. At the moment, the pitch ain't good enough for us to play. Um, but it's about playing in the right areas of the pitch at the right time. And at the moment, on Saturday, I, 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 we went through the film, t well, I've been through it a few times, but the areas that we played in first half was very, very good. We played up, we played down the sides, we, we got the ball, we rotated it from right to left in the half. And we caused them problems. Second half, because the nature of the game and we found ourselves behind, it's, it's, we didn't play off that solid base again. We, we played very expansive. And uh, I, I can only think of one goal that we conceded where we possibly did overplay. And that was where it went into Brett and Brett made the wrong decision at the wrong time because he should have played, played it square to Dan and he tried to, to turn out the opposite <coughs> way and lost it and played. But I don't think any of the other goals were about overplaying in the wrong areas. It was individually, the first goal came from a corner, 
And the second goal was uh, Brett Smith's pace pass, wasn't it, when he, he tried it back. The third was Josh, that was Josh, Josh, yeah, Josh sorry, Josh, Josh, Josh's. Short one, and then the third and fourth were individual ones. I think Ethan got caught on the last one where he was too deep. So I don't. Th I think that it was only Brett's that we overplayed in that area. And the amount of success you've enjoyed as a manager at, at this football club, yeah, yeah. playing the way you want to play, just goes to show you why should you change it? Well, there's going to be criticism. There's, there's always criticism about the way we're playing, but... We've developed players playing this way. We've got players in the league playing this way. We've won leagues playing this way. All of a sudden now we've gone up a league and people are saying you can't play this way, you can't play this way, there's too good of players. I have a lot of faith in this team. I really do have a lot of faith. It might be blind faith, I might be sitting here with rose tinted glasses on. But I have good faith that these players will come good. They will come good. And it's on me now, if it's not good enough for, pers for a certain person or people at the football club, then I know what will happen. I know what will happen, but I'm not changing. I really ain't changing. We lost, well, I say we lost. Robbie back has st stepped down in the week. Does that affect things at all for you in terms of recruitment or bringing anyone out here? Ross, Ro uh, Robbie's done magnificent since I've been here. He's been a really good uh, sounding ball to, to bounce off of. Uh, he'd be... He'd be vastly missed at this football club because uh, there's, there's, uh, there was a position there that goes between me and me and the chairman um, and he took uh, a lot of lot of blunt of a lot of things uh, and uh, I'll solely miss him and this football club I think will solely miss him. Does that make it hard, even harder for you in, in, in a funny kind of way? Uh, possibly yes, possibly yes, because uh, it's another member of staff that's left the, left the building and there's been a few of those over, over the course of a period of time, but uh, we get on with it. <laughs> I mean, in the summer there was talk, obviously I think we mentioned it just in passing in a conference about you perhaps bringing your own coach in, uh, a guy you'd worked with yes. previously. Did that just fall through, or just yes, yeah, it yeah. fell through. Yeah, it right. was, uh, it was, um, it, it just didn't didn't progress as far as it, it should have. But uh, no, I think that's uh, that's moved on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. John Taylor, of course, left, didn't he? Yes, but I'm not clear he was ever here. If you know what I mean, contract wise. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there was a bit of yeah. mess up with the contracts. I mean, yeah. is, is he someone that you would have preferred to keep? I mean, he was at Wrexham an awful lot when yes. he was even a striker. So you, you know, yeah. Was he too young at the time to No, we called him back. I mean, the, the whole thing about Joe was going out at that level because we knew the people who was in charge at Wroxham uh, and to see how well he'd done at that level. Then the, the, the whole situation was for him to be pulled back in January and then gone to a step higher and keep progressing uh, and then hopefully come into the first team uh, scenario of what happened. But the injuries just suggested that we, put, we called him back straight away. He, he, had, he was loving his time at Wroxham, really was. Uh, but an opportunity has come to go to Peterborough, which is fantastic. I mean, good luck to him. He really, you know, deserves all the luck he can get with that. And I hope he goes and progresses on you know, to be a really good player. So it was literally a, a case of the gap between Wroxham and your team? Yes, we, we, we was going to close that gap yeah, as, we, yeah. as we went along. That was, that was the plan for him uh, to go out see how well he'd done at that level, move him up another level, and then gradually that gap could become smaller and smaller. Mm. And uh, uh, we had things in line and planned in place, but it's obviously what happened, the situation changed where we needed to call him back straight away, and he's, he's missed that opportunity of keeps progressing, but he's got a hell of an opportunity now and in front of him. football club. Yeah.